Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze if you are new here and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on my videos. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you basically a day in my life. Today is Saturday. I woke up, um, I think I woke up at 10, 10 a.m. or something. Uh, I'm just going to vlog throughout today and just show you what I'm up to. So, yeah, um, if you guys are interested in seeing what my life is like, then just keep on watching. Okay, so where do I even start from? I hope you guys can hear me clearly. I have a fan on in this room and the fan is disturbing me, but whatever. I need to, I don't want to be hot. Anyway, um, I woke up like past 10, like I said. My room has blackout curtains and I really love them. They are helping me so much. Um, there's these black curtains, they are real blackout curtains. Like when I close all the curtains in this room, the room becomes very, very dark and it's really helping me sleep well because i don't sleep early i think i've said it before i don't sleep early before i get a comfortable position before you know i think of one or two things i'm supposed to do or think about my life you know time maybe it's like 12 a.m 1 a.m before i sleep so it helps me sleep late in the day yeah it helps me sleep late in the day like to 9 to 10 without feeling like it's daytime because everywhere is always really dark and my kids too They've learned that same bad habits. Well, they sleep like 10 o'clock and they wake up 10 a.m. <laughs> this is a sleeping house. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I've not been on YouTube for a while. And that's because, yeah, I don't even have any excuse. The truth is that sometimes I just need, need a break. Like, I need a break. See, when our school starting, am I the only mom who is tired? Of having her kids stay at home all day like i am now tired like i've had it up to here i don't care what the government is saying i don't care what anybody's saying see even if aliens have invaded earth okay as long as they've not yet abducted the teachers and the school administrators please they should open schools please okay i don't care what is going on in society or going on with any i don't care what disease they say is flying around please just open schools please okay <laughs> for our sanity even for the kids sanity like i try to keep them busy i try to keep them entertained i try to keep them happy and all that but it's still not the same as them going to school but one thing that has been helping me stay really really you know uh centered and happy and focused and it's a weird thing because it's something that I used to do before, but for some reason I just, I think when I got married and then family and everything, I just, you know, relaxed on it. Uh, yeah, so something that keeps me really happy is actually organizing, like organizing to a T, like organizing, organizing, cleaning and organizing, not washing plate though. Not washing plates, please. Thank you. I don't like washing plates. Um, I don't even like cooking either. But I just have to do those things. But yeah, so uh, what was I saying? Organizing has really helped me to stay really... Um, I, w I don't even know what to say. It makes me happy. Yeah, it, it kind of makes me happy. But it makes me feel better about, you know, everything in general. Because, yeah, so I've gone back to organizing recently. I did cluttered my closet i'm going to show you guys clips from you know when i was organizing my closet i got rid of 90 percent of my clothes 90 percent 90 90 percent of my clothes like i got rid of all of them um yeah i was just done i got rid of so many so many shoes bags belts um clothes uh my wedding gown i washed it again because we have this black suit problem in potter court uh, your house can never be clean. Once you're in Potter Court, your house can never, be, can, can never be sparkling clean. You're going to be seeing black black stuff around everywhere. Yeah, it's the black suit issue. So I have to rewash my wedding gown and I'll try and package it better this time. I'm keeping that wedding gown because I want to do... One day when, I'm, when we are older, okay? I want to do a... Like a slumber party with my kids. You know, when my three girls are big enough. Maybe they're like... Maybe 19, 18, 17 or whatever. When the youngest is like maybe 17, 18. I'm going to do a slumber party with them. Where we try out my wedding gown. And we talk everything. Okay, everything. Marriage, you know, sex, relationship. All those things. We're going to talk about it in a fun, you know, fun way. So, that has been my dream even before I started having kids. That one day... <laughs> That's the reason why I didn't sell the wedding gown after the wedding. I was like, I'm going to keep it one day. Me and my daughter, 
or you know, I thought I was going to have only like one or two daughters, but I was like, me and my daughters were going to, you know, try on my wedding gown, talk about marriage, how I met their father, stuff like that, okay? Anyway, enough of the fantasies, yeah, so that's what I've been up to basically. What else have I done? Yeah, basically just organizing my life. I decluttered a lot, uh, yeah, so let me finish holding this, my clothes, I beg. So yeah, let me show you guys my closet right now, what it is looking like. I really love the way my closet looks right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, it's kind of dark, but well, I hope you guys can see. Um, yeah, these are all the clothes I have now. All, when I say all, I mean all. These are all the clothes I have right now, except one or two that are in the wash. Yeah, but these are all the clothes I have right now. These are all the shoes I have here. What's that? These are all the shoes I have right now. Um, yeah. Look at empty. In fact, let me just get rid of all these hangers before I get tempted to, to fill them back again. Yeah. So yeah, these are hangers. All these things has had clothes on them before. Even more, I've removed some hangers, you know, in the other room. And, you know, yeah. So these are all clothes before. I just had to get rid of all the clothes there. So I'm going to get rid of the hangers as well. Um, I'm liking the way my closet looks. Here we have our towels and bed sheets. Here is pretty much always organized. Um, this is my own part. That's my husband's part. This is my own part. So these are my caps, my bags. So I have just um, three bags. Okay, four, including this one, which is my everyday bag. But I have just three bags. I'm going to leave it like like that. I think I'm going to give this one to my mom when she comes. Because this bag, I really, I don't think I'm carrying it anywhere. Uh -huh. So those are my caps. Those are my perfumes. I got rid of some of them. And those are my drugs, and that's my camera pack, okay? And then, these are my clothes for staying at home. Nightwear, pajamas, and some, you know, housewear. Um, these are my jeans. I got rid of a lot of jeans. That's my wrapper. I got rid of a lot of jeans. I have just one, two, three, four, five jeans now. Uh, one is a jean gown, one is a jean skirt, and one is a... Um, jean dungree what they call it overall okay so i have just two jean trousers here and i'm really happy about it i give out like six or seven many of them are not even my size here is empty and then here should i show you guys okay so this is my undie drawer yeah this is where i keep my undies these are my panties i fold them these are all my scarves and hair ties and turbans and stuff like that and these are my bras um i moved two from here to wash so yeah that's basically it um some people might think i'm extra for folding my panties and all that because i've heard a lot of my friends always say how do you fold your panties why are you folding your panties but those are that's the only way i can really you know enjoy my panty drawer by, by folding them um yeah i don't want when i want to take you know my underwear i'll start you know digging into a pile of you know a mess or something yeah let me just keep my clothes back and check on my kids because i'm supposed to go out today okay i'll carry you guys along all right Puzzles? Yeah! Okay. So puzzles, but I wanted to show everybody my puzzles. Uh, you're gonna show them now. Okay, everybody, do you want to see? Go close them now. See. Mm -hmm. See, look at everybody. <laughs> Alright, so these are my blocks. Yeah, so another new thing that I got is this bouncing yoga ball or yoga ball or bouncing ball whatever bouncing this ball yes yeah and it has really been helping me with um pregnancy discomfort 
You guys, after I found out that I was pregnant, I stopped exercising totally and I feel like it's wrong, but I beg, I've, I've lost the energy for that right now. <laughs> so, when I get, you know, discomfort, I just get some pains and waist pains and joint pains and stuff like that. So, I bought this ball to start doing uh, pregnancy stretches and yoga, uh, but even just sitting on it and bouncing like this actually helps a lot with my bump discomfort like when the baby's in a weird position or something i just come and bounce on this bar and after a while she changes position and i feel better okay so um when i start my pregnancy exercise routine i'll show you guys <laughs> ah, i have a feeling i'm not going to do mommy. anything like that but yeah whatever mommy remember yesterday i was a baby you were a baby yesterday yes, in your tummy. Mm, do you remember when you were in your tummy yes. okay yeah, I need to go and soak some clothes to wash later. I'll wash now. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I don't know if I've told you guys this thing before, but my husband is kind of obsessed with washing clothes and we have our laundry set up. Um, I mean, he has our laundry set up in such a way that he can wash multiple clothes at the same time. Like anytime he's back home, I just relax and be taken care of because I don't wash my clothes. I don't wash any of my clothes. My kids, you know, he washes everybody's clothes in the house when he's around. But when he's not around now, I have to just try and take over. So I want to wash some of our towels. Uh, we have a lot of towels that are dirty right now. And um, there's no light, even though we have um, inverter on yeah but there's no nepal light so the automatic machine uses nepal light while one of the manual ones uses both so i want to use the is it manual they call it the one that's not automatic sha. <laughs> so i want to use that one to you know kind of soak some of our whites and then when um maybe after like one or two hours i'll come and wash it whether they bring light or not okay but ordinarily if there was light i would have washed them with the automatic because i don't like that manual having to go and put clothes come out having to bring out the clothes drain they yeah, put back put water out Ugh, i'm like i'm not in the mood for that <laughs> but yeah so um yeah you guys should just come along with me okay um so this is our laundry the laundry is kind of dark i don't know if you guys can see very well it's kind of dark so yes we have three washing machines one two three this is the automatic one and Oga says that he might get another washing machine. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have four washing machines. Four, four. <laughs> we're going to have four. I've told him, Kuku, go and open laundry so that we'll know that that's the business that you're doing. Anyway, yeah, so this big one is the one that I'm going to use to wash our towels now, is a manual washing machine. guys let me show you something that wants to give me small headache small headache because i'm not going to allow it to give me any headache okay but yeah uh let me just show you guys so um this is my wedding gown and this is the um duster bag or whatever that it came in um yeah this bag didn't really help the wedding gown stay clean so i'm going to look for something else to package it well so that it doesn't spoil before my fantasy comes through okay yeah so anyway I need to catch my breath so <sighs> so this is what has been giving me a little bit of headache recently and it is this farm this place was supposed to be this place is supposed to be my farm i think i've shown you guys how this place was before and um yeah so backstory do you guys have time yeah you have time let me tell you the story so I want to turn here into a proper farm. I want to have vegetables, herbs, um, you know, things like tomatoes, things that basically I'm going to use in this house. I'm not just doing farm for farming sake. I'm, I want things that I'm going to use in this house. So, what did I do? I contacted um, someone who does farm stuff. And yeah, she came here, she checked out the soil, she checked out everything. I thought I just saw a snake. <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys, we've they've seen snake in this place before, like several times. <laughs> Amarachi has even seen one. One time she came to spread clothes and she saw a snake. Anyway, so I called her, she checked out the soil, checked out everything and just, you know, basically recommended what we need to do for us to get this place running as a proper farm. Um, yeah, so she gave me her quotation and everything and everything. But the money was too much. It was over 200k and I was just like, for what? What am I planting? If I decide to buy ugu and the okra and, and bitter leaf and tomatoes for the next one year, I won't spend up to that, you know. So... I was just like, no, I beg, I can't spend that kind of money. So I just, you know, I didn't respond yet. Like I just told her, okay, let me think about it. So, in order to be a little bit wiser, I told my guest man to help us um, clear this place. I paid him, I paid him to clear here, remove the sand, then go and buy soil and come and put, and then I'll now see where she can come in because I, I really want her to, you know, add her touch to it. So I went to see where she can come in so that was how i paid the gate man he came here removed all the sand from here and then hit them there that part is part of this farm so i don't understand what i'm supposed to do with this heap of sand here now i told him okay look for a way to get rid of this sand he said he doesn't know where to to put the sand i said okay get people that buy sand or carry sand or whatever to come and take it even if it's free they should come and collect it I don't know what's happening up to now. So I almost feel like I've just been pound, penny wise and pound foolish because I should just paid her all the money she asked for and just sit down, relax and get, get her taken care of. Anyway, I'm still going to involve her. I'm still going to pay her, but I'm going to clear her and bring the soil by myself. Then she'll take over the rest. It's not still cheap, oh, but nothing I can do about it. It's like I really want a farm. I really, to, oh, I really want a farm. If people are buying expensive bags and shoes and clothes for themselves and gadgets and all that and all that, why am I afraid to just, you know, you know, buy myself a farm, okay? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's just the update with my farm. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Let me go and contact, talk to the gateman right now, ask him what's going on here. Because, like, I, I need this place. I need this, I need the new soil to come here first. So I can call her to come and prepare the soil and start planting. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I'm packed on the road because there was no parking space. I don't like parking on the road, even though... My hazard light is on, so I just can't wait. She should just bring it. Let's just be going. And um, from here, I'm going straight to the market. From the market, I'm going home. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm so exhausted. Eh? Like, Mommy, not part of we are not going home yet. Why we go to the, the, the next shop? We're going to markets. Yeah, I wanted to buy something in the market. Bring your face closer now. I wanted to buy something in the market. Oh, uh, uh, me. I wanted to buy something in the market. What do you want to buy? I wanted to buy fruit and vegetables. Okay, what do you want to cook for us? I wanted to cook. I wanted to cook vegetable soup okay. and even fruit soup. Fruit soup? Mm -hmm. Fruit salad? Mm -hmm. Okay, Eva. What are you cooking for us? Come closer now. Once you say you should talk now, your voice will just become very low. What are you cooking? I cook. Uh, well, why me buy fruit and vegetables? What do you want chicken. to cook? Chicken. No, chicken. Chin -chin. Chin -chin. You want to make chin 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 chin. Now with fruit and vegetables. That with that with water. Mm -hmm. Milk. Mm -hmm. And flour, sugar. Flour, sugar. And butter. Butter. Mm -hmm. and mm. Eva, what are you making for us apart you from mix. chin chin? Yes. Eh? Mm -hmm. Apart from chin chin, what are you making?
I want to be. I want her to be quiet, please. Go and meet Amarachi, okay? Go, please, okay? Please, you should go and meet Amarachi. Cora, yeah. allow her pass so I don't lock the door. Go, go and meet Amarachi, okay? I want to be alone. Thank you. Ah, you guys, my kids, my kids have just been like all over the place since morning. Anyway, yeah. So dinner is served. I want to eat. I, I made yam and vegetable. I don't know what else we call it, but that's what we call it: yam and vegetable. Um, yeah. I made it with steamed green, green leaves. Green. What we call green? Steamed green. Um, what's the other one? Ugba. Onions, crayfish, pepper, and just here I'm finished. Okay, simple but very delicious dinner. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'd like to know what you guys do to keep yourself sane. Okay, what are you mothers doing? <laughs> okay, not just mothers, anybody who is really overwhelmed and you know, what do you do? Do you watch movies? Do you go shopping? Do you take yourself out? Do you cook? Do you clean? Do you arrange? Do you read? Do you sleep? Do you listen to music? Me, um, yeah, I listen to music a lot. By listening to music, I mean I listen to gospel music. That's the only music that, you know, helps me feel happy. The other ones are just, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so I listen to music and I um, arrange and sleep sometimes. Yeah, that's what makes me happy or makes me that's how i cope okay so um let's let me know in the comment section what you do to to any new hobbies this farm that i'm doing now is a new hobby that i'm going to take seriously i want to just see how far i can go with it and yeah i'm going to keep you guys updated um yeah i'll keep you guys updated i think from monday we'll start proper work on the farm i'll keep you guys updated on that and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.